A day after the offer of a ceasefire from the separatists, the main telecom center of Donetsk was on fire, apparently hit by a shell, one of many buildings coming under fire from Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainian telecom building is on fire. That's what it is, because the shell exploded and set it on fire. They're firing mortars. Almost half of the city's one million strong population has now left, unable to cope with this. Many people are still trying to get out. Others are seeking shelter. Even the maternity unit at the hospital has been forced to go underground to escape the violence. Ukraine's military appears to have the upper hand, pushing forward, cutting off their enemy's supply routes, and say they won't stop fighting until they've driven out the separatists from the strongholds in the east. If there is an initiative, then it has to be shown with practical actions and not just words. If white flags come up and they lay down their arms, in this case, nobody is going to shoot at them. We've not seen any practical steps yet, though, but just a statement. The Ukrainian forces are trying to build on the successes they've made in the last few days. But even in areas which are back under their control, they're leaving nothing to chance. All this as the people who live in the East try to find safety wherever they can. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, Nislovyansk.